you suspect connected to the Detroit serial killer case is in custody and investigators are looking for additional victims in Metro Detroit and other states. The investigation began March 19th when the body of 52-year-old Nancy Harrison was found in a vacant home on Coventry Street on Detroit's east side. Initially, it was believed she died as a result of a drug overdose. May 20th, the medical examiner ruled the cause of death as blunt force trauma. On May 24th, the body of 53-year-old Travisine Ellis was discovered on Detroit's east side. There were similar aspects to this crime. Similar so, there was a cause for concern. Sources confirmed that both of their bodies were posed by the killer in a kneeling position. The body of 55-year-old Tammy Jones was found in another abandoned home June 5th. That day, Chief Craig announced that the police department was investigating a possible serial killer in Detroit. Police named D'Angelo Martin, 34, as a person of interest in the case. He was located at a bus stop at Seven Mile Road in Gratiot Avenue. Sources confirmed that police are linking a possible fourth victim to Martin. In February of 2018, security camera footage surfaced of a man dragging a woman's lifeless body out of a vacant home on the city's west side. The victim was Annetta Nelson, 58. Police arrested a man, but prosecutors cleared him. Police now believe the man in the video is D'Angelo Martin. Sources have told that the common denominator linking Martin to Nelson's murder is DNA. Police got Martin's DNA from an attack on a 26-year-old woman. Her family said she was stabbed and sexually assaulted May 7th. Martin has been charged with attempted murder and sexual assault in connection with the alleged attack. A missing woman named Deborah Reynolds was found with Martin last summer. Martin was living in a vacant home on Annan Street near Woodward Avenue. Last December, human remains were found in that home. DNA tests are being done to see if the remains belong to Reynolds. Not far away, the body of Yvonne Coburn was found in a vacant home wrapped in carpet. A DNA test is being conducted in that case as well. Police are checking with police agencies out of state to see if they have unsolved murders that match what police call Martin's signatures. Investigators are also using an FBI database to compare those signatures with murders of other women in other states.